All right, let's do this. Look at Ling, he's ready. Or not. Well, I'm ready. We did two already. I'm not sure how many there are. I remember there being a lot though. I don't think a hundred, like maybe 20 something, 25. But the way that this is going, it definitely doesn't feel like that much. And one thing I do feel like I should have gotten before I done this was arrows. But I also don't feel like it's that big of a deal if I don't have arrows. Ooh, perfect. Any more? I feel like that'll be useful only a couple times. Or more, but it's fun. Getting dizzy isn't though. Shit. Oh shit. Already took damage, we're screwed. Shit. That wasn't right. Killing this thing's feel- it feels a little weird, because you could see their, uh... You can see the red just drain from their... Their body, and it just looks like... I don't know, it just doesn't look good. You can just see the imminent death. It just looks painful. What is that, five? I think all these creatures are weak to the boomerang. This is probably a lot easier too because I have all the upgrades or the ultimate master sword. I think this is my favorite part. Like, not as far as cutscenes go or whatever, just like what I like to do in this game. When I think of playing this game, one thing I always think of getting up to is this part. Just doing this, um, what is this called? The Savage Dungeon. Probably just because it's just very grindy. You don't have to think, you know it's due. Kill stuff. Kill stuff. And if you're good enough, you can get to, you know, a part a lot of people haven't gotten to. Feels kind of exclusive. Like, I was actually thinking about, like, when I was trying to learn code and stuff. If I were to make a game, it would be like this, where you just go from level to level and fight. Nothing too fancy. And it wouldn't be 3D though, it would be like some 2D dungeon crawling thing. God damn, these guys throw hell of a punch. They're a lot scarier than anything else. He's trying to throw more punches. in here yeah seems like there's nothing to worry about especially if they're gonna give you all this where am I at? what is this 10 is it like 10 10 I feel like we went through 10 just by the way uh, I'm guessing it'll go Ooh, let's do let's use this
easiest part. Like, completely useless without those. There's gotta be more. A lot of green guys, right? I feel like this might be a hundred, actually. No. Did that glitch? I think that thing glitched through the ground. These guys, they don't even move. And they're placed in a way where it's not even a, like a challenge because you take your time fighting each one. Maybe if they're surrounding you in a circle or something. Right. I remember I used to get too um, full of it and I'd try to run and make it into the fire. Or make it into the hole as soon as the fire goes away, and then I burn myself and take damage. That was stupid. Thinking like I was like some uh, speed runner or something. <laughs> Instead of just waiting for it to go away. I feel like I'm gonna mess up a cord right now. It's like wrapped around my foot. Oh, shit, this thing. Okay, these things are kind of creepy. Nasty looking, like, moths or something. And then the big one shoots out, uh, all those babies. Oh, I can cut it off. I've never done that. Uh, in this playthrough anyways. I think I remember you could do that though. Or I probably did. Just don't remember. Part 3, maybe? Something like that. I feel like the most difficult part about this is when they add more flying uh, enemies. Tougher ones too. Probably like moblins inside of those to trick you. Yep. <clears throat> I should have tried to keep count of the floors because I do want to know. Last time I did this, I was like, almost dead, and I wasn't sure just how many floors I had done. I did it with like, very few hearts left, but I really thought I wasn't going to make it, just because I uh, had no clue of how far deep I was, and it was getting so difficult. Man, I can't let these guys touch me. But then again, I know I'll get hearts later on. I honestly think they did make this a little easier than the GameCube one. Because I don't even feel very threatened when I get touched. It's like one-fourth, which is barely anything of a heart. Let's see. There we go. <coughs> Yeah, these are bosses, or uh, mini bosses. Fuck this. Oh, I can't charge up. It's just gonna lag the game. <laughs> Come here. Shit. Oh yeah, since these are sub bosses, they're gonna do a bit more damage. Fuck off. 
right, let's just go. Yeah, if I have to fight those in uh, combination with a couple other creatures, that will start to get a little hard. Damn. Hopefully I don't max out and get 5,000 rupees. I don't even need to, or it doesn't even matter if I do, but whatever. I need bow and arrow. There we go. Doing that probably runs them out too much, actually. Spamming the fire button. I gotta be methodical. Um, I don't want to waste arrows on these guys. They're such a joke of a thing. I'd rather get hurt before I waste an arrow on these guys. Oh, come on. Yeah, give me more of those guys. That's pretty simple. Oh, shit. I got tricked. I'm gonna just open all of these. Okay. Let's see if I could... There we go. <clears throat> Guess I gotta be more careful now when I attack uh, pots. Um, I can kill these with- no, I can't. I need... I would like it, honestly, if this game had, um, some sort of Actually, no, I think they do. They have endless mode, right? That's some sort of mode where you can unlock stuff. Endless mode does sound cool, but, like, um, something else where you can get stuff. Where, like, you can just keep playing this over and over again, and it'll feel rewarding. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like you have to. And then that way you just, you know, you don't have to worry about playing the whole game over again. You can just jump into this. I don't know how they do that, though. Because I would like just like a mini Legend of Zelda game where you just do this. You just keep going deeper and deeper. But each time you go deeper and deeper, you get something like... Uh, I don't know, some cool outfit or something, you know? Something that you could put on, something cosmetic, not something that you need or that makes the game easier. I think that'd be cool. Collectibles, yeah. Outfits for Toon Link. Damn, this guy is fucking me up. I don't want to use my arrows just yet, so I'll just take the hit. Um, let's try this. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, because I'd say one of the favorite things that you do in this game is uh, replaying the whole game as Link, but playing in his pajamas because it's such a cool outfit that it made me want to play the whole game again. And I would like it if you could do that, but also have other outfits. Like, they could probably put something on Link's head, like a bird or something. Something that they usually do in, like, animes and stuff. Shit. the hell? It just like blew up. Yeah, I can imagine all these types of things you could put on him. Or like, allow people to mod it so they could put their own outfit on him. Just because I think it's my favorite character. Favorite Link. And it'd be cool to have him in a you know, diff bunch of different outfits. Maybe if you could unlock some emotes. Because he's the most expressive Link, I think. Alright, so I feel like I'm ready to go for much more of this um, dungeon. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to try to do it all in one run. And I think before I am close to dying, I'll try and drink my mom's elixir. Because I want to re rely on the fairy at the very, very end, and not halfway through. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Yeah, I won't even let you continue unless you have the uh, shield. Saying you're not ready for this. What is down here? I don't even remember. I bet it's just a heart container, something stupid. Shit. He can't hurt me. He's gonna get messed up by the light. Come on. He's dead. Come on. Well, I guess Link has to get scared by each of them. I'm trying to jump right before it happens. But I feel like... It's just not working. There we go. Where's he going? Is he running? Or is he glitch? I wasn't even near him. Well, kind of was. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I'm grabbing the wrong item. Oh no. Can't let them get back up. Also can't let uh, my magic meter run out if I'm gonna be doing this technique. What if there's another way to kill those things besides using that? Come on, come on, come on. Very easy. Slimes are like the easiest thing, because you can even walk over them while they're under you. If they're, uh... If they haven't... Oh. 
Shit, if they haven't fully uh, came out of the ground yet. Just let him capture me, right? Does it hurt? I don't think so. Let's look. Let's look at the health. No. Um, last one. Hey. Just a little possession. That's how you beat them. Let them take over your body. Oh shit. Um, I feel like I should be doing something other than... Let's try this. No. No. Let's just fucking do it. Ah, damn it. Alright, dead? Good. Haha! <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not sure how to do that. Fuck. Fuck. No, this shouldn't be too difficult if I just keep my distance. Fuck. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Oh, it hurt him. I'm gonna go fight. What's with those big hoop earrings they got? It's kind of weird. Like, why do they have those on? Is that a sign of, uh, evil? That wasn't too hard. They didn't give me that much monsters. I gotta get this guy over here too. Come on. I would like a counter. But then again, I guess it's fine not to have one. It does make you feel like you're, uh... Wait, did he see me from shining a light on him? Back off.
Jawohl. Yeah, chasing them? I don't want to chase them. That's doing uh, a little bit too much. I think I have to hit him, I think, twice. Nah. Just take me. Just take me. Come on. There we go. And I've been doing this for almost 30 minutes. How long is this going to be? I want to try and see if I can grab him with a uh, hook shot. Ooh, yes. Much easier. Probably grab him too. No, I can't. He was respawning just as I killed him. What is that? Oh, another one. They're not too difficult, those guys. They're just like, if you get too greedy, they become a problem. Like this. You want to just knock his head off. But you're so close from getting smacked with that mallet. Is this another one? No. Damn, I might have to finish this in another part. I don't know if I'm close, but I do feel sort of close. That that must have been the, um, what was it, the wind? No, the Earth Temple. I think those monsters are from the Earth Temple. Yeah, I'm getting fucking, I got, hopefully it's just not a big rupee when I get to the bottom. Because I definitely don't need that. Shit. Simple. I would have liked to do a mega spin attack, but there is no time for that. They're too quick with the pokes. Um, what should I do here? I have a feeling I should use my bombs, just for fun. Oh, wait a minute. Can't you... Stun them all with the Megaton Hammer? Yeah, look. Boom. That's cool. I like that. Stun. Simple. Easy. Fun, fun, fun. That's cool, I like that. I forgot where, where I remembered that from. I think I discovered it by accident. That you can freeze jellies with it. I guess it's asking for the hammer now. Oh no, this is where I need to use my bow. This is it. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. bop. And we're almost out of uh, arrows. Not good. I should change out too. I don't want to have those clicked by mistake. When I can use a more useful item. Save every last arrow. These guys aren't even a problem. I don't know why they put so many down here, especially because 
They're so, uh... Spread out, too. Okay, now they're fucking me up. Okay, now they're fucking me up. Is it time to drink some... No, it's not. Spoke too soon. These guys are messing me up pretty good. Actually, I was always curious if you could do this without getting touched once. Like, there's probably, maybe there's a YouTube video, I doubt it though. That's probably one of the most toughest things in this game. And this game's not too tough, so... It must be doable. Shit. These guys are slow as shit. The um, skeleton guys. And it only takes three hits to kill these guys. So we're gonna do that. So don't seem strong enough to be using that weapon. Especially because they're like, they look like they're shaking every time they use it. I should get the elixir out though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this will give me some arrows, actually. Ooh, that switch up. I did that just right. My god, time to drink. Full health? Full health. Best item in the game. This is where I think the difficulty comes in, when you fight Dark Nuts and stuff. Arrows? No. Nothing. Oh well. Uh, let's use it. Fuck it. I ain't trying to... One left. Useful. One, still useful. Better than none. Ooh, both off. Simple. Together they are almost useless. It's when they're separate that they seem to be a lot better. 
I did that very easy. All right, how many more can they give me? Oh shit, look at the time. We're gonna stop right now. I'll get back to this. We'll hopefully beat it in the next part. Hopefully nothing tears me apart. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.